Hi everyone! Welcome to Linda's Thrifty Life. I'm here today with what I consider a pretty big Dollar Tree haul. It is a two days of shopping, four Dollar Trees. Some were just a couple of items bought, some were like ooh, 30 items bought. You just never know what you're going to find. That's the fun of Dollar Tree. So let's get started. <clears throat> okay, let's see. I got a blue basket. I bought a blue one and a pink one, but the pink one is over there. Um, still trying to work on organizing, so I'm going to have this where I can put stuff in it. First thing, let's go to the food things. Um, these are these little disposable um, little pie plates, and you get four for a dollar and these are really great when I um, make dinner for mom and I take it to her and she doesn't um, need to have anything any dishes or anything that she needs to clean she can just get rid of it and she can heat it back up or whatever I love these little Lance Nico sandwiches sandwich cookies they're peanut butter and they're just so good that is one of my go-to snacks when I'm hungry. It's sweet, but not too sweet, and it gives me a little, you know, with the peanut butter, it gives me a little lift. So, um, I buy these frequently. I like them a lot. I try, I decided to try the Barilla Ready Pasta that so many of you have been hauling, and I thought I'd give it a try and see what I think of it. And I will let you know. Um, classic cheesecake mix. We're coming up on some holidays and different things and I thought well I'll go ahead and pick this up and then I'll have to pick up a uh, uh, pie crust and some other things but I love cheesecake so maybe I'll try to make a cheesecake. And then this was a new purchase for me and I must have been hungry at the time. <laughs> you know how I am folks. I'm honest. But this is chow mein teriyaki beef flavor. And um, it's a pretty good bowl for a dollar. Um, and it's chow mein noodles, bok choy, cabbage, and carrots with a sweet teriyaki sauce. And it just sounds like a good little lunch. And Mom and I like these kinds of things. So I thought I'd get it and try it. And if it's good, I'll pick us up a few to keep in our cabinet. I also got... A Glade air freshener. Actually, I got two. Ta-da! And I'm going to put one in the bathroom. And I'm going to put one by Annie's bathroom. I need to say no more. <laughs> I clean it frequently, but sometimes... <sighs> yes. Speaking of Annie, this... I absolutely... Could not get this off the shelf fast enough when I saw it. Look at that. I love it. And it's on both sides. Oh my gosh. It's got a good handle. It's just adorable. I meow you. So, I got a new coffee mug. I love it. So happy I saw that. And I found the cat calendar. That was on my wish list. And I'm so excited to be able to keep this on my little on my desk. Um, it's hard to tell from watching other people haul it how big it is. And it's not really big. And so I think that's a good thing because I can keep it on my desk. And it's just it's just too cute. So I got I got that and I'll open it up and so I can see the, the date. And I got this for my desk. I uh, was doing all sorts of crafting over the weekend and I kept bending over to my big trash can and I said, I need a little trash can to sit on my desk. And I saw this one t today. It was the lone left one and it was pink and I was like, yes, yes please. <clears throat> so that'll be on my desk for all my little tiny bits and pieces. And speaking of crafting, oh my goodness, everybody. Oh, so my, um, my big 
Dollar Tree. Finally got some new items in. And so I picked up some of these. Nothing new. Everybody's seen these things, but they just come to mind. So I'm gonna, I picked these up. So I'm going to hopefully start using my glue gun. I went ahead and picked up this package of buttons, 90 buttons for a dollar. And while the colors are not really something I might use a lot right now, I think in the spring they'll just be beautiful. I got these beads. I am trying to make tassels and things for my pocket letters. Wait till I show you. And I thought some of these orange and red and dark green beads would be just perfect on some of the tassels I'm trying to make. I got that. And then I got these metallic pony beads just again for tassels, but aren't they pretty? And that'll be that's real bright and Christmassy. So I got that. I got this pack of baker's twine three of the rolls and I got it mostly because it had the orange and the yellow and then it has I guess that's black and those are perfect colors for the um, pocket letters I'm working on right now yes I did have a good time you know me now these I'm not sure how I'll do with these but I bought these little alphabet beads and we'll see what I can you know spell out words hi you know who knows Merry Christmas I don't know if that's a big one. But anyway, I got those for fun. Then I finally found these little round containers. And so I bought a couple of these to keep some of my beads and different things in. And I can use some of my bigger containers for the bigger beads. I got a package of these large paper clips to work on um, crafting. And also these binder clips, again, for crafting. And I will show you at some point what I'm doing. I found two more sheets of the really pretty um, glittery adhesive diamond wrap with the leaves on them. And um, I've been making some fall pocket letters and, and I needed some more. And then I picked up this cute little... I think I've hauled this before, but it's so cute. This little um, washi tape with a, with a little, bi uh, not bike, but the motor scooter and the camera and everything. I thought that was cute. So I, I bought that. Still in the crafting. This was the only one, and it just was waiting for me. Look at that. The Eiffel Tower and... Will you? I don't know what that, but isn't that cute? So I picked up that. And then I picked up some yarn. Well, what do they call this? Ribbons. Now just look at this, how pretty this is. Can you see the colors in the light? Look how pretty. This is all the fall colors. It's real pretty purple which is a different texture and then this black and white and silver one and I'm gonna be experimenting with those working on some tassels and I will come back and share whether they're good or bad I'll come back and share I promise <laughs> and speaking of tassels I bought this one um, for a special pocket letter that I'm gonna make Let's see, I bought another one of these to go into one of um, the breast cancer bags. I wanted to make sure that all three ladies had something cute. And I found um, this uh, breast cancer bracelet to put in one of them. Since I decided to do three, I needed just a few more items. I picked up some of the um, bonus packs of the batteries. I got the eight of the double A and eight of the triple. Oh, I got two double A's. <laughs> that is so funny. I thought I had triple A's. You know, it's bad when you can't read anymore, people, even with your glasses on. Well, they won't go to waste because the grandkids use a lot of these, but I will have to pick up some of the triple A's. That's so funny. 
So, um, I also found, oh, I'm all over the place, some ribbon to go along with my yarn. And I found these ribbons. Aren't they pretty? That one has little pumpkins on it. That's gold, and that's kind of a, a mm, what do you call that? Amber color. And then this ribbon, I just couldn't resist. I thought it was so cute, the pink and white polka dots. And this one is five yards for a dollar. This is nine feet. Um, three yards of that and 12 feet of that. So it's not a ton of ribbon, but when you're making just little um, tassels, it's, it's not bad, I don't think. And then this was the first time I had seen this, the red truck, truck ribbon in the wide. So I picked up two of those. And these are the wired, <coughs> wired edge ribbons. So I thought, <clears throat> you know I'm going to do something with that. Wow. Just keeps on coming. I, a lot of people I've seen um, haul these, and I just think they're so cute. And uh, so I just picked them up for friend mail, pocket letters. They're just cute. Life is short. Eat chips. Eat, sleep, repeat, and blame the sugar. I think those are cute. So I picked those up. I picked up two of these little lanterns that everybody has said is so great and really bright. Um, I'll have to try one out and show you, but everyone says they're great, and I like that they're so little and lightweight, and so I got one to give to my mom so that she can keep it if the power goes out, that, you know, some of her lanterns and things are kind of heavy, but she could take this and set it down, you know, in the restroom or wherever she needed it. So, let's see. Oh, nope, that's not new. Remember when I hauled these, I had every color but pink. I found the last pink one in a in a box in a different store, and I went, yes! It was meant to be, so I got the pink one. Several people have hauled these LA Colors Macaron scented lip balms, and I got one of each color. Well, actually, I got two of the pink because you know who will want one. And uh, I'm going to try them and see what I think. And who knows, a couple of these might be in friend mail. And then I just gave in and got some glitter gloss. A lot of people have hauled the glitter gloss and said it's really great. And I had to get this one because it's called Princess Vibes. Princess, of course. Princess Vibes. Love it. So, um, I have seen lots of people hauling some of the um, Frozen tr frozen 2 um, items, and I know that Scout will just be wanting those, and we will try to go see the movie when it comes out. But these are the first I've seen in my store. So I got this little Frozen 2 journal, and, um, you know, she, she doesn't really write yet, but, you know, she's learning. She's learning to write her name. And then these stacked pencils, look at this, in that color and in the blue. I just, I just had to pick up both of those. So um, those will be saved for either when we see the movie or Christmas or sometime. Speaking of Christmas, and here's my other basket I got. I'm getting tired. I got these little cute little red and green ribbons and they have a little tiny um, ball at the end and uh, those will be cute for pocket letters or packages I got um, I hauled the uh, tins with the red truck and then the campers around it the other day and this one has got the clear top but it has the campers around it and I, I got one of those I finally found one of the little white Christmas trees, so I picked it up. I never could find one last year, and um, I had greens were everywhere, but the white ones were hard, so I, I was in one of my little Dollar Trees today, and, and they just had about a, four or five of the white ones, and I just took one. I just wanted one. And then I, took, I saw these cards, 
and I thought these were really cute. I'm going to start picking up some cards because I'll be sending them out to all of you for Christmas. And then I found this for Tiger. And it's a Mazda uh, Miata red convertible. Look at that. Hot Wheels. And my daughter Ashley drives a red Miata. And so I just thought Tiger would like that. And I can say, look, it's Aunt Ashley's car. I also picked up one of these little uh, lip skip lip skips lip stick containers and um because since i have so many tubes of lipstick i'm just, they're just everywhere and um i opened it up and then put my lipstick in it and i think it's gonna I think it's gonna help me to go oh i want that color oh i want that color now the lip glosses don't fit in there very well so i'll have to find a different way to do that and let me look because you know we forget I think that's it. You saw the pink basket. You saw the yarn. Whew. I had fun, but now I've got to get crafting again. Um, I'm just, everything is just busy, busy, busy around here. Um, Friday, my mom will be 89. Um, she's doing better. And, and speaking of that, I thank you all so much for your prayers. They have meant just the world to me. I, I can't even begin to tell you how much. And I do see my mom starting to accept some of her limitations. It's uh, not going to be a fast process, but we are going to have to make some changes in our circumstances coming in the future. And it's, it's just going to be hard, but it just has to be. So, enough of that. Um, my daughter, Ashley, who um, has been living in California for many years, she worked at Google for quite a few years. I've not talked about her very much. Um, but she um, has left Google and she has been away from there for a little while and she has gotten a new job and she and her spouse are going to be moving to Canada. She got her work permit and so all of the immigration papers and things are being filed and I'm just, she's so excited and so happy. And I think she's going to Vancouver is where I think she is. So she's still going to be on the other side of the country for me. But the exciting thing is I get to go visit. So I am so happy. And um, so she and, and Irene's are moving and they'll be moving, they'll be flying to Canada, I think, um, Saturday, I think, is what she said. And then they'll they'll be uh, staying in a short-term um, apartment and then looking for pla a place to live. But she's already started her job, and she loves it, and she's just really happy. And this has been a long time coming. So she loves Vancouver. She's been up there several times on vacation and some work trips. And um, so she's excited to move. So... Um, just um, prayers that all of that goes well for them. And uh, she just keeps getting further and further away from her mom. I wonder what, that, what all that is about. So, <laughs> but she said, you come stay here, mom. Come visit. And I will. So I'll be looking forward to that. Well, that's enough, everyone. And uh, happy Tuesday to you. I will be back in my next video. We will be doing the 500 subscriber giveaway. I know I'm past due, but, you know, I had the breast cancer awareness giveaway going on and a lot of personal stuff going on. But I do want to celebrate and I do want to do a 500 uh, subscriber giveaway because I am just so thrilled and so thankful to all of you. So, um, I will see you real soon, and I hope you find something fun at the Dollar Tree. Bye-bye now.